Chinese inventor Tao Xiangli has given a year of his life and sacrificed his livelihood in pursuit of his art despite his family's disapproval. In the alleyway where he lives in Beijing, the 38-year-old from rural eastern China has been slowly making his dream come true, piece by piece. The fruit of his efforts is a 2.1 meter tall, 250 kilogram interactive robot, which now dominates the single room of his tiny apartment. The contraction, which he calls the king of innovation, can move its limbs, hands, and head, and follow moving objects with his eyes using around 30 sensors dotted around his body. It has several thousand electrical wires and over 100 electrical motors, so I estimate that it has tens of thousands of parts. In terms of movement, you can see that its head can move, its hands can move, and each finger and joint can move. In fact, the basic movement of its joints is pretty much the same as a human. It's just not as flexible as a person. The robot is constructed almost entirely out of scraps and second-hand electrical equipment gathered from junk markets over recent years. The head is made from an old piece People's Liberation Army helmet and fingers from old mechanical chains. As well as grasping simple objects, it can champ its teeth while singing a recording of Korean pop sensation Gangnam Style. It has taken Tao over 11 months to complete and cost him around 300,000 yuan or 50,000 US dollars, including his minimal rent and living costs, a small fortune for a Chinese farmer. None of his family, including his wife and a young child back in the countryside, support his project. I feel very relieved, but also sad. I'm relieved because I have finally finished it, and the process has really been very difficult. But I feel sad, for example, about my financial situation in the process of making it, and the fact that many people don't understand. When I was hard-pressed for money, it was really hard to borrow money from people. But I am very relieved because in the end, I feel that making it has been a great personal challenge. Tao grew up in a poor farming village in Anhui province. He has no education past primary school. He worked in a brick factory and did menial jobs before deciding in his early 30s to pursue his inventions without any formal training. Although the robot doesn't have any specific use, Tao hopes it will draw attention to his talent and land him a proper job in inventing, lifting him out of poverty. His neighbors don't really understand. They're very perplexed by his determination. We really admire his idea, but we can't understand why he's doing it because he has no job, he makes no money. His ideas might be good and people might say, wow, this young man is pretty talented. But if he hasn't got any money and still keeps on doing it, most families won't be able to accept it. Here's one thing Tao hasn't thought of. Before he brings his enormous robot to a wider audience, he may first have to find a way to get it out of the front door. Oh, damn.